when it's important to go Tristan back in one of the videos. So we are playing Liverpool on Sunday. This is not like a this is not a match preview for say because I used to do match previews. Um, but again, this is just me like giving my two cents as well from the previous experiences that we've had with um these guys, the players coming up to a high pressure to a high pressure game. You know, because from previous experience, right? For me, I'm a guy who goes off by evidence and um learning from the experiences also, like. We right as like as as Man United like the the players uh, sp specifically them when it comes to high pressure situations they don't deliver and that's one of the things that's been getting on my nerves for these past like for the past year now is in high pressure situation these guys don't come up to it with the game against Sevilla I was pissed semi final we we, we we against Sevilla they lose they lose they never show up and they they're arguing like amongst each other as well. The game against Chelsea in the semi-final for the I think it was for the FA Cup. The semi-final again against Man City. Now twice there was the one um, the Carabao Cup a, a, a few months ago, and then uh, the one last week. The PSG game um, when they lost I think it was three two or three one um, at Old Trafford. The Leipzig game like all these all these games right the high situation they never show up. Ulleran they don't show up. Bruno Pogba Martial Rashford. Greenwood, Cavani, Maguire, Bai, Bai, um, Luke Shaw, Wan Bissaka, like Warham don't show up and they need to learn from this. They they do because to win, to win trophies, right? You need to handle high pressure situations. You do, and I'm not saying that oh man, I'm gonna, gonna win the league, blah blah blah. I, I'm gonna get carried away like that because again it's 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 it's, it's one game, right? You have to take the game game by game by game by game. And this little put game is very important. Because if if these dudes don't show up as well, like what what faith right do do we have in those guys for them to go and even qualify like uh, to even challenge for a Europa League? Because it's just gonna get to the same point again where you get to like to call it quarterfinals, semifinals, then lose, you know. But if they win this Liverpool game, right, they will get a, a a boost of like okay, we've done it now. We've been in, in, in a half pressure a game. We've got we've been there and we've delivered. We've delivered now. It's, it's time to uh, a, 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 a build up on that as well. And this little game is very important. It is very important because again, if if you do win, we'll be um, three point um, six points ahead, or maybe even like two points uh, two points ahead because Man City still got two games in hand. And then like we can still build up from from that too, and we can go maybe to even like the semi finals in Europe League again, and just play like maybe Sevilla again and beat them. You know, you, you get what I mean? So it, it, it all it, like this this game is very vital in my opinion. It it it, it, it definitely is because it, it's it, it's it's showing the mentality for the guys as well. Because if they beat Liverpool, they, they for me like top top three best teams in the world. If they beat Liverpool, like. Like even just by one nil, the amount of confidence and boost that they will get as well, and being them being top of the league as well, and and they, and they, and they can go to like let's say who's the hardest team to play away? Hmm, I'm trying to think. Now, not man, say like that. Like, what are those like boring like teams? Teams that make football boring, you know? I'm trying to I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think because we were to play Burnley away. That was a boring game. Parked, parked the bus. Of course, that's what they did. It's very, very frustrating to them. Um, Leeds away. I'll probably say Leeds. Leeds. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably give an example like Leeds. Go to Leeds. Beat them very comfortably because that's how you build that mindset as well. Because uh, to what uh, Sir Alex Ferguson, Sir Alex Ferguson used to call it is squeaky bum hand, and then that's when all the pressure and, and and when like the things start with when the fixtures start whittling down and it comes to like like to april time where like the title race is is at its last legs that's when the games matters as well but for me again it's mentality for for, for for this team it is it's all about mentality as well because in the previous games right for me like I, I like I, 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 Bruno has been spectacular for us, right? He's been he's been playing well for us, and he's been like he's one of my favorite players at, at the moment as well. But the thing is with him, like he never shows up for the big games. Like, that that like, that's one of the things that I, I've been noticing as well. And he needs to show up as well because like, like against Man City last week, he only showed up for like the first six minutes of the game because there was one shot that he took and he almost scored from outside the box like, against like Stefan. And then after that, it all went quiet as well. There's the same thing with the Chelsea game too. Same thing with the Arsenal game. Same thing with the severe again as well. He needs to show up as well because if he wants to be like our main guy, like how Cantona was, you know, like to what well, even Ronaldo, to, to, like, to be fair, he needs to show up um, 
two of the big matches as well and and and, and i can take him like as i said to his next form as well because he thinks that he can get better too you know it's, it's, it's all the guys as well like even marcus rashford the game against burnley wasn't good enough for, for me like he, he missed the thing the, 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 okay so when rashford right for me for me when i see rashford playing when he's at his best right is on the left side and he's attacking dudes he's attacking dudes he's not he's not thinking like oh wait stop where's my pass he's just going straight at, straight at guys as well that's why he goes on on, on sometimes on these mad runs where he sells guys dreams like the one uh, that goal against brighton where he took on about like three dudes and they're all just like flying and diving everywhere trying to uh, block the ball you know there's one run as well that he went on against leeds where he just took the ball from the right side Cut in, went in, and, and, and then took a shot, almost scored. There was one um, instance as well. Who, who was it against? It was against Leipzig, where he he like took the ball and almost scored as well. That like that that's the best from Rashford as well. The same thing with Anthony Martial as well. Martial, he's good when like he's in, like when when he's not pressured, like when he's ice cold. Martial, you, you, you get what I mean? Right now, it's panicking Martial, and like he he's he's, he's, he's just wasting too many chances too. And this, this is we, we need all these guys to show up man against Liverpool because it's a very it's a very important game man we need them show up as well because like this right this season has reignited the whole um uh, the whole Liverpool versus Man United rivalry as well because it's, it's those guys now that are, are in the top two. Yes, Man City is is creeping behind as well and they're silently making their way up as well. But I, I, I just need them to show up. That that's all. I, I I need them to go there to Anfield. Wouldn't 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 like like like, uh, like okay, Man United fans, right? Wouldn't it be nice for us, Man United, right, to go to Anfield? And beat Liverpool and end their unbeaten home streak thing, like with like 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 uh, their unbeaten like that home record. I think it's like three years now. I think six six or something games that like, they've not been beaten at Anfield. Wouldn't that be perfect as well to how we uh, beat Arsenal um, in their invisible run? Just just to go there and beat them and keep them and keep them second. I mean they, they might even drop down to third because Man City might win the next game. Wouldn't that be nice, you know? And I I, I, I would love that. I, I definitely would love that as well. And yes, on Sunday it's my night versus the whole entire world because they don't like see my night being top of the league, uh, being top of the league again because that just brings back so many nightmares for a lot of people. Because when they were kids, they my my night was thrashing their teams in, in every cup final. That's not from Barcelona, but guys, that's been the video. Uh, my night fans, tell me to the, uh, in, in the comments below to what you think as well to what's gonna happen in the game. Um, what's your pre predicted lineup as well? What? Uh, do you agree with me as well to um, uh, the guys' mentality as well? Because for me, that's the one thing that I'm scared of right now is their mentality as well, just for them to even show up to um, to a high to, to for a high pressure game. But guys, um, tell me again the score prediction to what you think um, the score is going to be on Sunday as well. Um, it's, it again is at, is is at Anfield. Um, I'll, I'll I'll take anything rather. I'll take anything but a loss. I'll take anything. Thing. Just, just to keep those guys below us again. But guys, I've been pristine. Um, rambling on, to be fair, uh, rambling on for like eight minutes. And if you stayed all, um, all this time, thank you very much. Um, and I'm signing out.